Never wait for hot water again with a tankless water heater from Plumbing Experts. Tankless water heaters are easy, convenient, and now more affordable with a no interest financing for up to 18 months. Stop with the cold showers and wasted water and call Plumbing Experts today. It's the Weather Extreme video. This is the afternoon edition. This is for Tuesday, the 10th of November. I'm James Spann. Alabama's weather looking wet at times through tomorrow. Then the dew points and the humidity levels come down on Thursday and Friday. And the weekend, will it rain? What about Ada? Many questions. We've got Theta, maybe Iota coming on the board. So let's dive in and talk about it. Here we go. Upper air look across the country. Strong negative tilt trough rotating through the high plains, producing some severe weather in areas there in advance of that front. There's the visible satellite view, the sky mostly cloudy across the state. Underneath those clouds, we've got some patches of light rain and drizzle, nothing too widespread. And again today, very mild. We're in the 70s across the state. We'll stay in the 70s for the rest of the week. But again, by Thursday and Friday, the dew points come way down. It will feel more like fall. There's the watch warning map. It's messy up north. A severe thunderstorm watch for parts of Illinois and Wisconsin in advance of a front. Behind the front, winter storm warnings for parts of Wisconsin and Minnesota. There's the severe weather outlook through tonight. Got that risk over parts of Wisconsin and Illinois, the Great Lakes region. Also, we note a marginal risk over parts of North Florida. Tomorrow, no severe weather expected. Maybe a clap of thunder in spots around here with a front. And Thursday, much of Alabama in dry air. Precipitation for the next seven days. Bigger numbers on the upper Pacific coast. For Alabama, the amounts one to two inches for most places. And again, these numbers might be a little aggressive. I think we'll probably need to bring them down, as you'll see in just a moment. But still, no doubt we'll see some rain at times uh, tonight and tomorrow. Maybe, maybe some rain this weekend. Oh, yeah, tropical season hanging in there like a rusty fish hook. We've got three systems on the board. First off, Theta out there in the eastern Atlantic, Eta in the southern Gulf, and a wave in the Caribbean that will probably become Iota. Uh, this is the Hurricane Center track for Eta. Uh, they've got this thing as a weak tropical depression near Fort Walton Beach Sunday morning. And if this verifies, the main impact would be rain, getting much better model agreement. And I think the Hurricane Center will have to adjust their track eastward on the next advisory. And that's going to keep uh, the peninsula on the wet side, the panhandle, and Alabama mostly on the dry side, if this works out. And I think this is probably the right solution now. And again, you can see that steady weakening trend. In fact, this might not survive. Uh, it might dissipate before reaching the Gulf Coast. We'll see. But again, this will be no hurricane, nothing really dangerous, just some rain for areas along and east of the center. Theta out in the Atlantic, moving away from the United States. It'll be dissipating or becoming post-tropical southwest of Portugal this weekend. And this is modeling on the Wave Invest 98L in the Caribbean. This is what's most likely will be IOTA. And really, the model's just now picking up on this. It's way too early to call. We'll watch it in coming days, but that'll be down in the Caribbean. So let's go to the GFS, the 12Z run, valid tomorrow at 4, troughing over the northern states and a front passing through. So tomorrow, a cloudy day with occasional rain showers. Highs will be in the 70s. Thursday will be in the 70s, but the dew points come way down. It's going to feel much better, less humid. Uh, morning clouds giving way to a partly sunny afternoon. Friday should be a beautiful day. Sunny, we start the day in the upper 40s, the high in the low 70s. Really nice. And really, the GFS basically dissipates Ada. And this is Saturday, and if this verifies, we would be dry. Uh, and again, there, there's some differences. This is the uh, European Saturday, and it's got a chance of rain from Birmingham south and east. And we'll keep that in the forecast for now until we get better clarity tomorrow. But certainly, I wouldn't call the day a washout at all. And if you're north and west of Birmingham, the day could be totally dry. This is Sunday. Back to the GFS. Looks pretty dry. If this works out, highs in the 70s. Monday, a cooler air mass dropping in here. It's a pretty good shot of cool air. Uh, in fact, uh, the GFS suggesting we might have a hard time getting out of the 50s on Monday. In a week from today, Tuesday, the 17th, the Northwest Flow Aloft, in a cool, dry air mass. We could be down there uh, in the 30s Tuesday morning with highs around 60 if this verifies. We'll go out 10 days, Friday of next week, the 20th. Heights beginning to come up, and that looks dry and mild. Rain for Birmingham off the European Ensemble. The mean 
one and a half to two inches for the next 15 days. Temperatures will be in the 70s through Sunday, and you can see the drop-off next week with highs in the 60s and lows well down in the 40s. And again, Tuesday morning, I think we'll see a number of places down in the 30s. So next week, temperatures will be seasonal. However, the new CPC outlook later in the month, the 18th through the 24th, if this verifies, suggesting temperatures here would be above average. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this afternoon. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. If you can't catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening and God bless. There are better ways to keep cool. Call KS Services and receive a new Bryant unit with no payments and no interest for 18 months. Stay cool now and pay later. Visit callks.com for more.